I'm a freaky, freaky bitch. Hey, what is up, dudes? My name is Freaky, and welcome to the most anticipated and favorite series of all of you guys want to see. It is Q&A Fridays, episode 16, uh, which means we have gone through four months of Q&A Fridays. So that is a Q&A Friday every week for four months straight. That is ridiculous. And you guys fucking love this series. You got from last week, the week before last week was 28 likes, and then now it's 40 likes, and it just keeps getting more and more, and we have, like, so many questions to get to, so it's ridiculous. So, if you are new to Q&A Fridays or just finding this on my channel today, uh, then you guys get to ask me some questions. So what I do, I take everyone's questions from the comment section below, whether it be anything, you know, personal, anything advice-wise, any fuck, Mary kills, any have you ever wanted to drop kick a cat a cat off of a bridge i don't know i always say drop kick a cat i don't know why i say that how about i skull fuck a frog i don't know anything weird like that you guys <laughs> can ask me and i'm gonna i'm gonna answer it because you know what guys i'm freaky and that's what i'm gonna do and that's what i'm here for today so uh, it seems like we got a shit ton of questions, so I'm gonna jump right into it, and, uh, before I do that, I wanted to tell you guys, uh, did you guys like the, uh, little clip in the intro? Um, I always get some random clip that I always want to show you guys, and today, for some reason, I got banned from a server on Battlefield 3. And I think it was a TDM server, uh, but... I don't know why I got banned. I crapped on a kid. I shot him off the goddamn crane. You wouldn't you think he would get banned for that going up there? But no, 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 no. I get banned because I shoot him down with a rocket. No, okay, that doesn't make sense. And I get banned for it. And um, so in this gameplay, uh, before I talk about the questions, um, I didn't understand this at first. I was playing Rush uh, on uh, what is this uh, Metro and. Um, I didn't understand this. A lot of the rush ones were like you didn't have any of your classes and it just started you out fresh. I don't know if that's like a server thing like they do that on purpose just so everyone's kind of like equaled out and it's kind of just skill based then uh, rather than just gun based. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you guys play a lot of Battlefield 3 let me know in the comment section below because I ran into a couple servers after I did get banned. I thought it was a ban problem and they just took away all my guns uh, but it seemed like a server thing where like uh, they would just everyone in the game would just have the same weapons unless you like upgraded it during the uh you know leveled it up in the um in the match so i don't know uh let's jump straight to your guys's questions we have a whole bunch to get to and hopefully this isn't extremely long episode but hope you guys are already enjoying it so uh awesome gunner hey freak uh who or what inspired you to start youtube and why do you do youtube so uh, the first person that made me start YouTube, and not the gaming thing, but just in general YouTube, uh, there's this guy named Justin GE3, and uh, if you guys don't know who he is, he uh, did YouTube about four years ago, and I think he quit YouTube, or maybe he's still doing YouTube, I don't know, he probably does like music covers now, but uh, back in the day, he used to do funny like troll videos, he was like the first original troll, like actual troll like before like gaming was like big and everything he like uh did like oh i'm the best at skateboarding and he made up his own trick he said i was the best at guitar hero 3 did uh through the fire and flames 100 percent like he did all that troll fake stuff and uh it looked legit but uh it was definitely a fake one but it, it was hilarious and he would just keep saying that he was the best at everything said he was the best at dancing said he was the best at everything you could possibly think of and uh it was just a funny thing because he was like acting like he was drunk the whole time in uh his videos and uh he might have been, I don't know, but um, that made me kind of start YouTube, I thought it was hilarious, so I kind of started mimicking that in a way, and uh, that's kind of what I started doing, I started doing skits in the beginning, and uh, then I kind of transitioned to gaming, and right now why I do YouTube is uh, just to interact with you guys, because it seems like it's freaking awesome, since I started doing gaming videos, it seems easier to interact with my subs than, you know, just making a skit and not really doing it for you guys, just kind of doing it for blah, just normalness, you know? So, it, it, for the gaming area, the gaming community, it seems like it's easier to, like, communicate with your subs and everything, and it's really awesome. So, I don't know. I love communicating with you guys, especially on this series. It seems like I get to talk to you guys more, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So, I love it. I love it so much. Um, Mr. Jonah Jacob, I'm 20 and still don't understand hookah. Explain. Um, so if you guys don't know what hookah is, if you guys do know what hookah is, then uh, you guys really probably just listen up if you guys want to know. Um, but so, um, hookah is a water pipe. 
Um, I'm pretty sure it was found in the Middle East first. I think it was in Turkey that it came from originally, and it kind of just, you know, branched off to uh, other areas and finally got to the United States. I don't know how long ago. It probably, you know, it's probably been in the United States for a while, too. Um, I think about, like, 60 years or something. But, um, so it's... A water pipe, and if you don't know what a water pipe is, it means it has like a vase uh, where you put the water in. Then it's got like a stem that you uh, put into it and kind of like secure it. And uh, you put it onto the base and it kind of like secures and locks in place. And uh, you know what a hookah, you guys obviously know what a hookah is. You guys can look it up right now as I'm talking about it. So there is a stem and it's like the long part. And uh, there's a little connector thing that comes out of it, which is the hose import. And you put your hose in there and uh, basically uh, you get a bowl, put it on top of the stem at the top um, and you pack it with shisha or tobacco shisha is what the tobacco is called for uh, for the hookah and uh, then you put foil on top or you can use other stuff but you put foil on top and then you poke holes in it and put coals on so like yeah natural coals like normal coals that you like start on a fire and then they get really really hot and you just rest them on top of the tin foil and you get your hose you have to make sure your hose is connected to it you have everything connected now and you basically just smoke it then you just uh pull off of the uh the hose just inhale off the hose and uh it's really really nice it doesn't give you any tar nothing bad to it really doesn't have any nicotine in it unless you want to go buy some that has really high nicotine amount um but yeah so that's pretty much what it is so if you guys were watching like a uh, a picture of me like explaining all this then uh yeah so you guys kind of understand what i'm talking about um but yeah so that's what hookah is it's uh just another way to smoke tobacco and uh it's really really nice it's better than smoking like a cigar or you know cigarettes is just nasty uh you don't get a nasty aftertaste in your mouth um and they have tons of flavors probably thousands upon thousands of flavors as you can get and uh let me just start some right now they got normal you know berry flavors then they got uh, a cotton candy flavor they have banana split they have uh, chocolate flavors they have an Andy's mint candy one so like a mint and chocolate flavor um, they have so many flavors dude so many flavors as you could possibly do uh, it's such an easy way to do it and uh, it's it's a nice social thing to do uh, with your friends and go out to a hookah lounge and smoke some hookah it's really really nice and relaxing and uh, that's what I love to do from time to time but yeah so that's what hookah is and and he also has another question. Favorite South Park character? Uh, it would have to be Butters. And uh, because Butters is fucking hilarious. That one episode where he like flings his shoe off and it kills everyone in the audience. Oh my god. He's like, I got jumped it in my pocket for you. And then he just like flings his shoe off and hits like a light stand and it falls on top of like the audience. And then everyone starts dying. I don't even know, but it's hilarious. Alright, so X Cobra HD. Who was your YouTuber when you watch when you were younger? So, uh, this kind of goes back to that one question. It was, it was, uh, Justin GE3. That's what I watched when I was younger a lot. That's pretty much all I watched. Uh, and what is your favorite chips? Uh, cheddar, sour cream, and onion baked chips. So, they're baked chips. I love the baked chips, dude. Amazing. Uh, special Gamer Ops, how are you doing? And can you promote my mixtape? Um, dude, I'm doing pretty good. And, uh, promote your mixtape. Um, I probably will be able to maybe next week if you can send me a link so I can put it in the description or something. Or put it on the annotation screen or something weird like that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, LQ Thunder, most awkward moment you have ever had. Um, so some girl that was like a bitch, uh, kind of like pulled my basketball shorts down. And my underwear came with it in front of a girl that I did like. And that happened sophomore year, or was that junior year? That was junior year. And uh, I was a little embarrassed, but I didn't really care at the same time. I was just more pissed at the chick because she was a total bitch. And uh, yeah, so don't wear basketball shorts with easy pull down <laughs> underwear. Yeah, don't do that. Um, MC at what? What would you do with one day to do anything? Um, he said money wasn't a problem, so I would go and out and buy a really nice house and a car and a gaming setup. So, I'd pretty much have, okay, I would just buy a house and then have everything, you know, the furniture, I'd buy all the furniture, buy the TVs and everything like that. Then buy a gaming setup and then buy a really nice car. Uh, I wouldn't go anywhere because it's only one day. So, it's only one day, you wouldn't really want to go anywhere because how the hell are you going to get back after that one day is over, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would do. I would make sure that I have everything paid for and uh, I could live life just paying taxes. That's it <laughs> uh, MOH the Tani uh, Are you getting an Xbox one or a ps4? Um, I am getting an Xbox one f in the beginning and if I have enough no money to get a ps4 I'm gonna get a ps4 so um, 
yeah, so that's what I'm going to get. I'm Hopefully, I can get it when the release date comes out. Otherwise, it's going to be maybe a month or two after. Um, but, yeah, so Cuban Flow 205. If fapping didn't exist, what would you do for sexual pleasure? And uh, he said it can't involve my penis. So, I would. I don't think this is really sexual pleasure, but I like this kind of in the same way. Uh, back rubs, dude. You get your back rubbed or a massage, dude. Oh, my God, I just do that. I would be satisfied just with that. Or in a hot tub. I just go in a hot tub, maybe. Hot tubs are fucking awesome. Um, Z Marcus HD. Favorite movie? I said this a couple times. Um, I kept thinking about it. I can't really think of a favorite movie besides this one that always comes to my mind, and it's Tommy Boy. Uh, I can watch that movie a million times and not get bored of it. So, <laughs> that's one of my favorite movies. And I think I've watched it probably like over 200 times. Uh, Travis Le Terrell. What is the best pickup line to say to a girl? And what would you do uh, with a girl on a date if you had her in your house for three hours? Uh, my pickup line, this is really cheesy, but I, this is the only one I could think of at the spot. Uh, hey, ma'am, I can't breathe. And she'd be like, oh, why is that? And I'd be like, because ever since I said hey to you, you took my breath away. I don't know. It's something cheesy like that. I just randomly thought about that. Um, and uh, what would I do if I had three hours here with a chick at my house? Oh, okay. We would eat, game, and watch a movie, and then have sex. Yep, pretty much. That's what we would do. Uh, <laughs> Influx. Favorite fast food place? Red Lobster. Oh, that's not, it's not a fast food place. Damn it. I read that wrong the first time. So favorite fast food place would be Taco Bell. My favorite like restaurant would be Red Lobster. Uh, favorite subject at school? History. And, uh, yeah, so that's, I love history, dude. Fucking history is amazing. That's probably why I like World at War. So, oh, if you guys watch this video so far, I think the triple just passed. Um, but <laughs> if you guys have watched this video so far, put in the comment section below, triple nipple, okay? Put that in the comment section below right now, right now. Just type it in right now and, and, and hit enter. All right, Jersey Shore fan 13, do you like scary movies? And have you ever seen The Conjuring? Uh, I really, really like uh, scary movies. That's pretty much what I all watch now on Netflix. I just look up those movies. Um, and I have not seen The Conjuring. I really, really want to. Uh, I probably won't be able to see the in the theaters, but I'll probably wait until it gets on like Netflix or something, and which will be a while. But uh, I heard it was really, really good. I heard it was like fucking terrifying. Um, but I don't know. I really want to see it. Um, Sir Parker, forty-seven. Would you get beat up by Justin Bieber and have it be the number one most viewed thing ever, or never have sex again? You know what? The first one would never happen, just because I don't think he would be able to ever do that. And uh, the second part. I wouldn't want that to happen. So, can I fight back? Or was that not possible? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think the first one can happen. You know what? I'm going to say never have sex again. Because the whole Justin Bieber thing would just be bullshit. And you would just get, you know, you would never get sex anyways if you got beat up by Justin Bieber. So, <laughs> he also has a fuck, Mary kill. History edition. Marilyn Monroe, Cleopatra, and Queen Elizabeth. So, I'm going to have to... Kill no 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 I'm gonna kill Mar no, no, no. okay Marilyn Monroe and Cleopatra are the hotter ones right so I'm gonna fuck I'm gonna f okay Cleopatra made the first vibrator if you guys didn't know that okay so I'm gonna fuck her because that'd be amazing uh marry Marilyn Monroe and then kill Queen Elizabeth because she's always an old bitch. I've never seen her just young. <laughs> She's always old. Uh, Azure Project. Thanks for answering my question, dude. Uh, what is your favorite place in the world? My favorite place in the world is probably um, here, talking to you guys, or in Florida, visiting my grandma. That is that is awesome. I just like relaxing, dude. Just like relaxing in Florida. It's always an amazing experience. And uh, it's either here, you know, just being with everybody, you know, just. I, I love being with my friends and my family and everything like that, and uh, I, I don't like being alone. It just sucks. So, just being with friends and stuff, it's just, it's just always great. Um, Bruno Kalijo, uh, what would you rather use, a machine gun or a ray gun in a real-life zombie survival? I would use a ray gun because if anyone fucked with me, like the humans, anyone fucked with me that wasn't like a zombie, I could fucking zap them. Fucking zap them. They'd be afraid to fuck with me. I had a fucking ray gun. You know how scary that would be in real life? People would think I'm an alien. <laughs> I'd be badass. All right. Uh, Marco Rodriguez. What would you do if you won the lottery? Well, first of all, I would do kind of the same thing. This is kind of like the same question the other guy asked me. Uh, but if I won the lottery, I would kind of do something different. Um, I would buy a house and a car, obviously. And then, you know, buy the furniture and then buy the gaming setup and buy everything. Have everything paid off. And, um... 
then I would give some of the money away. Um, I would give it away to you guys, especially if I still was doing YouTube and stuff like that. So if this happened just like today, uh, I would give a lot of it to you guys. A lot. So I'd be like buying like Xbox Ones, PS4s. Be like, who wants your Xbox One? Who wants a PS4? And just dropping them like it was nothing. Like, <laughs> I bet you like every sub would probably get one right now if, if I got the lottery. Every sub would get one. I'm not even kidding. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll be just dropping it, especially if it's like a billion dollars, dude. I'd be just dropping them. Dropping Xbox One and PS4 money all day, every day. Uh, that'd be awesome, just giving you guys stuff. Because then you guys don't have to go out and buy it, you know? That'd be awesome. Maybe I'd throw in some games in there, too, and stuff. That'd be freaking sweet. And, um, yeah, I would, uh, you know, just give some stuff away. I think that'd be awesome. Um, because, you know what? I just got it out of pure women. And watch this amazing uh, defend right there. I disabled that goddamn uh, MCOM. I don't even know how I did that. That was a freaking athleticism move right there. Just wanted to show you guys that. That was freaking beast. That was like a gaming history moment. I'm just kidding. I don't know. That was freaking awesome, though. I thought it was crazy. Um, all right. Colin Manley. Opinions on Israel and Palestine. So if you guys don't know Israel and Palestine, they're like fighting. They've been fighting for like ever, dude, over this one freaking position. And uh, it's all like in, it's all in, um, uh, what am I, what am I thinking? Uh, a, like a, not a Christian thing because Jews aren't Christian. Um, what is that? A religion thing. There we go. Uh, it's all a religion factor where they're like, oh, I'm a Muslim is better or something. Or Muhammad is the real God. And then they're like, no, no, no. God is the real God. And then they're like fighting over this position. I'm pretty sure that's what it goes down. And, uh, one, I think, I think, I think Israel has it right now, has the uh, land, and they've been fighting for it forever, literally forever, since the Earth's been going around, and, um, they, uh, I'm pretty sure Israel has a wall around it or something, and Palestine is outside of it, and they've been fighting back and forth for centuries to come, and, uh, pretty much what I think about it, he asked what I think about it, and I think it's pretty stupid. They, really, you're fighting over a goddamn religion that you've been fighting forever. Wouldn't someone out of there, like, in the in the high ranks of their military be like, Why the fuck are we still fighting? This has been going on for literally 20 centuries. What the hell are we doing? Really? Why can't we just be friends now? Like, come on, drop the religion thing. It's a 20th century right now, 21st century right now, and we're still fucking fighting. Drop it. Seriously? Just drop it. That's. I think someone should just stand up and just say that. I don't know. Maybe they'll get shot over there. I don't know how it works. Um, but if I was there... Actually, no. Maybe I wouldn't stand up because... Uh, say if I was the main like ruler there, I'd be like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want the land anymore. We're going to go We're gonna go attack Africa. <laughs> we're going to attack Africa. Fuck it. I don't know. I just... That random place. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So my opinions on it, it's stupid. It's really, really stupid. And they should stop fighting. Um, Shoney Nation wanted me to translate something again, and it's Ida Ikruk Ikrucha Inushup Ivaka Olibe Iskapnami. I don't know what that means. I tried typing it in on Google Translator like I did last time. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that I did that. And I tried going on a different translator, couldn't find one single goddamn translator that would translate that shit. And for some reason, I'm thinking. That you're trying to troll me, <laughs> and I don't think this is a real language. Because otherwise, you know, Google Translator would have picked it up. Otherwise, I don't know if these letters are all backwards. I didn't try doing that, so... Nope, I don't think they're backwards. I think you just typed in random shit, <laughs> and then you just gave it to me. I think you had your cat, or your pet frog, or pet hamster, jump all over the keyboard, and you put spaces in between uh, the letters, and you're like, ha ha, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get freaked with this one. He's gonna try to translate, and he's never gonna get it. Because uh, if this is a language... I don't know what language you're speaking. It sounds like some, you know, freaking alien language. And maybe you are an alien. I don't know what that is. And I'm not talking about the Mexican language. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm getting racist here. But, um, I don't know. I couldn't translate it. I couldn't translate it. So, if you guys want to translate it, uh, go in the comment section below of last week's video and try to find his. It is Shoney Nation. And uh, you guys can... Uh, or Shawnee Nation or something weird like that. You guys can go find him and uh, you guys can see him uh, find whatever that is. Try translating it because I don't know what it is. And it's freaking goddamn crazy. So, hope you guys have enjoyed Q&A Friday's episode 16. It has been a really long one. I've actually enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Uh, and make sure you leave a whole bunch of questions in the comments below. So, 
I can make the uh, next episode even longer. And uh, if we could push to maybe like 40 likes again. I don't know. You guys want to push towards it? Uh, share this with your friends on Twitter and Facebook also. It's always appreciated. Just just sharing the channel around and, uh, you know, getting your friends over here too. And then your friends can kind of, like, talk to me too. And that's freaking awesome because I think I'm, like, one of the only YouTubers that actually, like, communicate with their subs. And that's pretty sad to think about. But I don't know. I love talking to you guys. I don't think I would ever stop because that's what I'm here for to talk to you guys and communicate and make videos for you guys and everything like that. Just make entertaining stuff. So uh, leave some questions in the comment section below. Like I said, anything you guys want to uh, ask me, it could be anything personal, anything advice-wise, anything fuck, marry, kill, anything about your pet rabbit that you wanted me to kick off of the balcony. I don't know. It could be anything weird like that uh, because I'm going to answer it. And I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Q&A Fridays, episode 16. And I hope to answer a whole shit ton of weird advice questions to come in the next couple episodes so hope you guys did enjoy this and uh this has been the freaky gameplay commentator and i will catch your freaky dicky faces in the next video Hey, what is up, dudes? My name is Freaky, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a fifth free perk and a free pack-a-punched weapon just by doing